In Dallas, student researchers are working on an exciting project for those who hate needles. It's a device that can administer a vaccine merely through a puff of air on your skin. That's all. No jabbing, no poking, no injecting required. Stephanie Haynes is live at the University of Texas campus in Dallas where the device was created. So Stephanie, how does this work? Mitch, good morning. It's literally an airsoft gun that can push the vaccine right through the skin of your arm. And the project leader did it on himself, and he says it feels like getting hit by a Nerf gun. So no needles necessary. And yes, there are other vaccines out there, oral vaccines or nasal vaccines, sprays for the flu. But this is a really big deal for people who hate getting shots because according to the CDC, one in four adults and two in three kids are afraid of needles. And so here's what the device looks like. The group here calls it uh, the MOF Jet. And they came up with this idea when they were bored during the pandemic lockdown a few years ago. The device is actually shooting the vaccine in the form of powder into your arm, not liquid, which is key because researchers say a similar type device was used back in the 1950s and 1960s, and it used liquid, which could bounce back out of the skin and spread more disease. Plus, it was still very painful. The device is also very similar to a gene gun, which veterinarians use, but much less expensive. And one of the PhD students I spoke to who's on the project says they can change how fast the medicine is released into the body, so it may have other uses beyond a vaccine. I think the really cool thing with this system is the material that we are using, metal organic framework, we can change the kinetics or kinetics of the drug. So one of those examples could be insulin, using insulin to inject into your body using this device. Uh, not going to be on the market anytime soon. It's still in the laboratory phase, so uh, your next few flu shots will still have to be a needle, probably. Adrian, nuts. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.